What's up, Snow Tracks fans? It's AJ Lester here, and I am standing beside a brand new 2024 Skidoo Backcountry XRS G5 platform, 850cc, two inch lug in this crazy kind of mint and orange coloration. And this snowmobile is brand new for 2024. And what comes to backcountry for 2024 is a whole lot of refinements. This snowmobile has been boiled down and my term that I've been using is they took sap and they've made syrup and this is the syrup and it's sweet and it's good and you're gonna come back for more. This sled has the G5 platform, so it's got all the new body work. Um, it's got a lot of new integrations. It's got the fourth motor mount, which means when you step on the snowmobile and literally when you step on it, right through your feet, you're not gonna feel any vibrations. Through the handlebars, you're not gonna feel any vibrations because this snowmobile is so flipping buttery smooth. It literally is the absolute boiled down, refined, best quality product we've ever seen from Skidoo. And the noise, vibration, and harshness, as they call it NVH, is so reduced that I can't compare it to anything else because it is the best in the industry, by far. So <clears throat> one of the nice things about G5 is that you get that super refined reduction in vibrations. No more hand guards flopping around like crazy. No more handlebars vibrating. The other good thing is that this has the rack steering system in it. So when I wiggle the handlebars, there is almost no play in there whatsoever. Literally gone. Like no notchiness, no bumping, no anything. When you put a small input into the handlebars, you get a small output at the skis. Very precise, very refined, works really good. Now talking about down at the skis, um, you've got KYB, these are Pro 36s up front, and they're called a Pro 36 EA3. Pro 36 EA3, 36 millimeter shock shaft, EA3 means that it's easy adjust three position. If you wanna compare it to something else, it's kinda of like the QS3 shocks. It's got three positions of wide range adjustability, but the cool thing that KYB did and Skidoo together is they made the wide range adjustment not just three ranges of compression, it's three ranges of compression and rebound adjustability mixed together. It's, uh, it's that kind of Skidoo voodoo that you just can't understand, but that's how it works. Out back, we've got KYB Pro 40 EA3s, both front arm and rear arm on the new C-Motion X. C-Motion X is completely redesigned. It's lightened, it's got a rail stiffener on it. Let's go around and we'll have a quick, quick peek. So you can see back here, we've got a very long rail stiffener. This is a 146, you can get the sled in a 154 as well but the super long rail stiffener makes that rail nice and strong. So if you're out jumping this thing because it is a back country and you are gonna do that, it's strong. Uh, up under the skid, you've got a longer front torque arm, which gives you 10.2 mm, or sorry, 10.2 inches of suspension travel out back. Um, and I will tell you without any concern whatsoever, this snowmobile can keep up with MXZs out on the trail because this suspension system works so good. The EA3s in the rear, you can adjust both independently. Same thing, three position clickers, wide range adjustment, really, really simple to use, really hard to get yourself messed up on. As opposed to an old school, traditional clicker type shock with rebound and compression where you may have up to 36 clicks of different adjustments between rebound and compression and you can get yourself really backwards if you forget or you mess something up or somebody in the parking lot where you're grabbing a burger walks by and flips one of those dials your sled can ride real different so this is simple this is easy easy to understand easy to use is it smart shocks no but it's a really good system i like it a lot the rear skid <coughs> is super high quality like i said rides like an r motion um it's not as smooth as an R-Motion, obviously, but it's very good. And from the factory, it now comes with scratchers. They are reversible. You can go in reverse. You won't rip them off. Don't worry about that. You can leave them down all you want. Go play. Have fun. They're there. They're there from the factory on all back countries now, which is a really, really big benefit. I like that a lot. Um, some other cool things, track lengths and options. So let me take a second and get this correct. You can get this snowmobile in 146 with a 1.6 inch Cobra, 146 with a 1.6 inch Ice Cobra pre-studded. Those are both 15, 15 inch wide. You can get it with a 146, 16 inch wide, two inch Powder Max. And then you can also get it in a 154, 16 wide, two inch Powder Max, or 154, 16 wide, 2.5 inch Powder Max. There, I got it all right. That was a lot of information. Those are the track options. Backcountry comes 
and a whole lot of different options. This is an XRS, so it's Primo. You get all kinds of Primo options. Moving back up front, you can get this snowmobile with shot. We have it in an 850. That's what we're testing, and that's what you're going to see on snow tracks in 2024. We test this exact sled. Um, comes with 10.25 inch gauge. The, the gauge package, the way it works, the fact that it gives you a lot of updated live trail maps because it's checking off of your phone and it's giving those updates and it's backing up that screen and giving you all the newest information. That's something that's really cool and unique because there's no other gauge that gives you those live updates as you go. So that's pretty cool. Um, control surfaces, G5, uh, we love them. They're really, really refined, they're smart. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on here. You may or may not love the way that your glove interacts with some of these buttons. After you ride this for a few days, it becomes second nature. So right away you might go, oh, I got to reach a ways for that. You're going to get the hang of it pretty quick. Don't worry, don't stress. Cool feature, it doesn't have the uh, twin piston um, Brembo brake on it, but it does have the nicer uh, brake lever that's fully adjustable. So just like a motocross bike, you use the little dial and you adjust that lever in or out to where you want to grip. So no matter what size your glove size is, you can get your hand around this brake lever and get it in the right position that you want. Now, I will say, I do want to see the better uh, brake on this sled in the future because the new brake on the competition XRS MXZs is so much better. We really want that. So please skidoo, bring that to the snowmobile. <laughs> the turbo, you cannot get on a backcountry in 2024. Do I think it's probably going to come in 2025? Yeah, I, prob I, I do think that. I think you're probably going to see that come to the snowmobile. Right now, not an option. When we go back to talking about things, um, 850 E-Tech, buttery smooth power, delivers that through the P-Drive clutch, which we all know is a really great, really reliable clutch. There is no problems here. It's got adjustable clickers on it. The P-Drive is so smooth, and when it works with that fourth motor mount, it gives you that super low NVH, noise, vibration, harshness. You just don't feel anything, but it's making power, it's putting digits down on the speedo, and you're going, oh dang, I'm going faster than I thought I was. This snowmobile will get you there. The 850 E-Tech is as refined as it has always been. It sips oil, it sips fuel, best fuel economy in the business, best oil economy in the business, and best emissions in the business when it comes to a two-stroke motor. Long live the two-stroke. Uh, up front, we've got a nice big cavernous glove box. It's a good size. I believe it's somewhere around four liters of total storage. It's not huge, but they got link out back and you can put like 48,000 different things back there. I'm pretty sure they have a camp kitchen if you want to cook while you're trail side. They've got everything you can imagine for link. So don't worry if this isn't enough accessory, just buy yourself something from link, whether it be the fuel, whether it be a storage bag, whatever. The two up seat even clicks in back there and you can put it on this sled kind of cool because you can take the family out if you want. Nice feature. Uh, color wise, I really, you know what, at first I thought that this was a, a little, little bit too out there of a coloration, but Skidoo is always the folks who do these out there colorations and I actually really like it. The mint color is nice. I don't think it's too feminine for a dude to ride. I, I, I think it's actually really, really good looking and I like the orange. It offsets. It's nice. Something else for us to talk about, as I was discussing um, with the guys from Skidoo, they said that this snowmobile actually performs as well as a 2016 Summit did. So this snowmobile right here, 146 with a two inch lug, performs as good as a 26 inch Summit off trail. They also told me that this snowmobile will keep up with MXZs on trail, no questions asked, no issues, no concerns. And I'll tell you, the backcountry to me, it's always been like, it's always had that special spot in my heart. Since the first Renegade Backcountry X came out, that black and red, beautiful, awesome snowmobile, and it had the cool black shocks on it. And I love that sled. I've always loved backcountries. They've always had a certain place in my heart. And this one is the absolute definition of backcountry refinement. I'm honestly struggling to figure out what more Skidoo can do to make this a better snowmobile. The brake, yes, they can bring the new brake. That would be great. Uh, front end wise, they've done everything they possibly can with RASX and this front suspension and the rider forward ergos. And we got to keep in mind, the reason the rear suspension gives you such a good flipping ride is because of where you're sitting. Look at where my feet are. They're like right over the drive shaft on this thing, like right over it. We are so far forwards that the rear suspension is really not bothering us in any way, shape or form. There's no other snowmobile that you're this far forwards on. Because of that, we have a little more ski pressure. That more ski pressure comes, 
you know, previous to RAS or to RASX, it, it did have a little bit of a, a struggle up front. You know, you could override the front end on a, on a Skidoo. Now with RASX, it works really good. I think the ski pressure is still a little high if you compare it to a, a Polaris. And everybody knows I like Polaris the way that the front end handles. But the only thing I would take on this snowmobile over any other competition right now is a lighter front end and a better brake. Everything else I think is absolutely perfect. There's nothing I want to change about the snowmobile besides those two things. And the front end really isn't a bother. It's not something that I'm going to tell you, don't go buy the sled because I love this snowmobile. I love the way it handles. I love the way it rides. I love the fit and finish. I love the quality of the build. I love the fact that it doesn't have to go back to your dealer during this, during the, the riding season. And there haven't been any huge recalls or any issues. You buy the snowmobile, you put down the bucks, you get it. And when you get out on the snow, it works day in and day out. It performs, it's there. And when you pull up to the burger joint and you jump off your sled, people come around and they look at it and they go, wow, that's a great looking snowmobile and you get off it and you go, wow, that's a great riding snowmobile. Skidoo took sap and they made syrup. I almost forgot, I didn't start it up. I always forget this. Also, if you like this video and you wanna see more stuff like it, like and subscribe. Also, ding the bell and come back and check out more stuff from us because we're updating all the time. This is what we do. Let's see how this thing sounds. E-Tex, every time, just... So smooth.